Hello, this is Renee, and Tom and I are on the Ultimate World Cruise, and we just docked in Hagesen, Norway. Have you ever wanted to explore a town rich in history and surrounded by stunning natural beauty? Well, join us today. Once we were docked and cleared, we left the ship. What we see here, if you are wondering what is this big thing on the right side, they build platforms. And this is the biggest place of employment in Helgeson. All these colorful houses, the government, they um, assign houses to uh, immigrants and to refugees on this island. We embarked on a one and a half hour bus ride through the scenic landscape of Norway headed towards Aquiforden and the magnificent Langefoss waterfall. Our first stop is a national monument commemorating the unification of Norway under King Harald Fairhair. One of the most significant historical figures associated with Hagesen is Harald Fairhair, the first king of Norway who unified the country around 872 AD. Near the monument stands a historical cross. It is believed to date back to around the 10th century. It is said to mark the burial site of King Harald Fairhair himself. These obelisks were erected in 1872 to commemorate the thousandth anniversary of unification of Norway by King Harald Fairhair. The monument is composed of the central obelisk surrounded by 29 smaller stones, each representing one of the historical counties of Norway. Hagesen was founded as a municipality in 1855 with deep historical roots stretching back to the Viking Age. Akwe Fordian is a stunning fjord known for its dramatic landscapes, crystal clear waters, and steep mountain cliffs. The highlight of this area is the Langfoss waterfall, which is consistently ranked one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the world. It has a drop of 612 meters and cascades down the mountainside into the Akwe Forden. As we journey through the region, we pass by breathtaking fjord after fjord. Did you know that Norway boasts over 50,000 islands along its coast? This vast archipelago adds to the country's stunning natural beauty and offers endless opportunities for exploration. So what exactly is a fjord? A fjord is a long, deep, narrow body of water that extends inland, formed by glacier erosion. Some of the key features include steep cliffs or mountainsides, significant depth and length, and fjords are commonly found in glacial regions like Norway, New Zealand, Chile, Canada, Greenland, and Alaska. Fjords typically have a mix of seawater from the ocean and freshwater from rivers and glaciers. On the left side we have Etna Fjord. So this is the last fjord that we're going to see today before we start going back. And this one is called Okra. But this fjord is 13 kilometers long. And in this region, this is the longest one that we have. We have a huge production of oil, gas and oil. We are only behind Russia and Qatar. Norway doesn't rely on gas and oil for power. Instead, it uses hydroelectric energy from the waterfalls. We passed through about seven to 10 tunnels and one of the longest tunnels on this route was the Akia Fjord Tunnel and it was approximately 7.4 kilometers or 4.6 miles long. It was built in the year 2000. It's always the same level as the sea. So you can even see the white mark on the rocks on the left side, for example, because there are tides. So if there are tides in the sea, there's also tides in the fjords. I was looking at this magnificent fjord and to the right was the waterfall. It was absolutely gorgeous here.
Then we took the tunnel under the road to get to the fjord side. And this was the view from across the street. Akri Fjorden is the primary fjord where the Langfoss waterfall is located. It stretches about 32 kilometers or 20 miles long and is part of the larger Hardanger Fjord region. This fjord is often referred to as the Queen of the Norwegian Fjords. It is the fourth longest fjord in the world and the second longest in Norway, extending 179 kilometers or 111 miles from the Atlantic Ocean into the mountainous interior of Norway. This dramatic landscape was stunning. We then took the steps down to the bottom of the fjord. Actually, let me rephrase it. This landscape is majestic. Time to head back to the bus to head back to the ship. Once we're on the bus, we find out we have to turn the bus around at the absolute end of the fjord. ...today because it's a bit cloudy, but on a sunny day, we see that the water in the fjord is a different color than the water in lakes, for example. Only 11 people live in this area. We were able to get off the bus one last time to take a look at the falls from a distance. As we start heading back, the clouds start rolling in. It is still so beautiful. On the way back to the ship, we just soaked up the beauty of the fjords. Hagesunde is a charming town of Norway's west coast, rich in history and natural beauty, established in 1855 and linked to Harald Fairhair, the first king of Norway. When we got back to town, we had the choice of walking around town or going back to the ship, and because it was raining, we headed back to the ship. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more adventures from every corner of the globe. See you at the next port. Here's our itinerary for the next four ports. Hey everyone, I'm thrilled to announce that my very first children's book is now published. Join Alphanet or Al, our adventurous elephant, as he sets sails on an exciting journey across the seas. Can't wait for you all to meet Al and join him on his nautical adventures, and thank you all for your support, and I hope you and your little ones enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it. I'll leave a link in the description below. Happy reading!